Dallas Shreveport Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Are you thinking of buying a home in Halton? In today's video, we're going to look at the pros and the cons of Southern Oaks in Halton. So, let's go! Let's get in this map and look at our location for Southern Oaks subdivision in Halton. And you're going to come, uh, you'll see here on our map that the location of the subdivision is right here off of 157. Interstate 20 is right here. If you're coming from Bossier, uh, you would take the Fillmore exit and come down 157 this way. And that will t bring us to the subdivision, the neighborhood there. So I wanted, it, I'm using this layered look here so you can see the amount of trees that are here and that uh, definitely is something you might would have to get adjusted to because of uh, <laughs> you know so many places that I've uh, gone, gone to and then come back you know is that there's not that many trees so here in the south we do have a forest <laughs> if you know some people may call that a forest but we we don't we, we just call it a couple of acres you know <laughs> of trees but uh, nonetheless you see it thinning out some where people you know have purchased properties and they've purchased four or five acres whatever and they, they kind of clear it out some and they leave some of the trees there uh, usually as you can tell is when a developer comes in he tries to do some but this this subdivision is mature you know old enough to have some mature trees that were planted by homeowners in the past so, uh, but you see that it, for the most part it's pretty much cleared out of all the trees and all and then the neighborhood is put, built on all the dirt that they layer out and settle it out and all that kind of stuff so there we go. So a great location, close to 20. And uh, in fact, 157 goes on into their Sligo Road you can take, and that'll take you a quick little turn and you can be at South Bossier uh, in a heartbeat. So you got two directions to get to Bossier. If you want to go North Bossier or, or East Bossier, take 20. If you want to go South Bossier, close to the base and all, then it would um, you'd want to go Sligo Road there and hit South Bossier on Barksdale. Uh, so great location for you for Southern Oaks subdivision. All right, let's take a look at the schools. The elementary school is Halton Elementary and it is three minutes away, one in 1.3 miles. You're going to come out of the neighborhood and hit 157 and go north and then, then turn right here on this road uh, that is off of M Street and Halton Elementary School is right here. It used to be the middle school years ago and they, you know, because of the growth in uh, Halton, they needed an extra elementary school to handle all the, the children coming in, so uh, moving in. So, uh, uh, yeah, not far at all for your elementary school. Now, the middle school is going to be uh, Halton Middle School, and it's seven minutes away, and it is three and 3.8 miles. You come out and hit, go north 157. Then you hit 3227 Highway and then Champions Way is right here and the middle school is right here. And not far, once again, major major thoroughfare there and all. So you can see 20 is right here. So you're real close there. What your distance is, is, is really a, a mile or two at most to get to to the interstate to be able to go either way to uh, Bossier or come over here to Ruston or Mendon. All right, now the high school will be Halton High School and it's five minutes away, two and a half miles. And uh, you're going to come out of the neighborhood here and once again, go north and then cut across on West Jackson go across and there you could turn here at the light at this intersection and then just go straight on into the school which is right here. Uh, Halton schools are excellent and your children will receive a wonderful education from these three specific schools that they are uh, assigned to go to. All right now if you're here for Barksdale then it's going to be 24 minutes away 16 and a half miles not far at all and you can come out of 
of the neighborhood and then go south and cut on, on uh, Sligo Road. And it'll take you straight on into Barksdale and you'll turn right and go west and then you'll run right into Barksdale right here. This area right here is Barksdale Air Force Base. So uh, it's not far at all. One of the the closest, you know, we think of, well, it just living in Embosier is going to be, you know, the closest thing. But I'm telling you, there's so many options here in, in Halton because you can come down south and cut across here on Sligo and you're right there on Barksdale and it's not very far once you get to Barksdale Boulevard. So very, very close and a great location for you. Now, let, let me say that we are grateful to you for your service in the Air Force, in the military. It makes us here at Shreveport Bossier very safe. We feel safe because you're here. We love the base been here since 1932. I mean, I've lived my entire, practically my entire life with, with the assurance that uh, the base is here and all. And, and we, we've learned to embrace and give support to our airmen uh, and the military families that are here. We know of the sacrifice that you make. Uh, we are very much aware of the sacrifice that you make for us, and we're grateful for that. And so it may take you back a little bit that once you come into town and people see you in your uniform, they're going to just walk up to you and just put their hand out to you and, and want to shake your hand and say thank you for all that you do. And, and you're like, well, I, I, I'm not doing anything, you know, type thing. But you may not feel that way, but it's a collective feel in a patriotism that comes uh, with just being an American and being part of the United States of America. And we are a, a, an area that truly knows the significance of our flag and the significance of what this nation means to us and how blessed we are to be born here and to live here. And we just want to, here at Living in Shreveport, Bossier City, to uh, we just look forward to meeting you, greeting you, and helping you to make a smooth move here to Bossier City. So once you get your orders in, just let us know and we'll begin to do some Zoom calls or whatever we need to do to, to get the ball rolling, so to speak, so that we can get everything in place so that when you, know, you get here, either your house is bought it's already taken care of, or you'll be in that process of getting it done. So we'll figure all those those uh, particulars out for you to to help take the weight of that off of your shoulders. W what the uh, base allowance ha has to help you, I, you know, even though in, in 2023 here, interest rates may be a little higher than normal, but I think you can still find a, a good size house because because our, our housing numbers are a lot lower than the national average. So you're going to be in great shape. So let us help you out and just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and we can help you as soon as possible to make your move here to Bossier a smooth one indeed. All right. If you need to go to the airport as part of your business, uh, then the uh, distance from Halton Southern Oaks subdivision would be 27 minutes, 24 miles. And you come out of the neighborhood and go north to 20. And then you're just going to stay on 20 and go straight on to the airport, the airport being right here. Uh, it's a regional airport, not the largest in the world, but not the smallest either. So it's our mid, mid market, mid range, small market uh, area airport, but it gets you out of town. And uh, there are, you know, there's smaller planes, but they will connect, cause you to, to save a lot of time so that you don't have to drive to Dallas to fly out of Dallas to get out of town. So, uh, you know, it, it, it works. It suffices for, you know, I, I, I have taken some flights to, four, well, four years straight, I had uh, flown to us. Uh, to Africa. And so I was able to, from Shreveport, be able to fly to Atlanta and from Atlanta, then an international, uh, we were able to go. So uh, it's doable. I mean, here's a, here's a guy from Bossier City and here I am going to Lagos, a Africa and uh, in di different uh, places in Nigeria, those, and that, it's a, I don't want to get off on all that story there. I got out of town, you know, so our airport is large enough to, to do what we really want to do. And, and it doesn't hold us back. Uh, 27 minutes can't really beat that. And, and to be out of 
the hustle and bustle of the city and to be out amongst these trees here where you can hear the birds sing without a doubt. So, uh, yeah, uh, Southern Oaks would be a good subdivision for you, even if you had to go to the airport. All right, if you're needing to go downtown, the distance is 20 minutes, 17 and a half miles, and you're going to come out of the neighborhood and you're going to go up to 20. And then you're just coming straight on 20 and 20 is going to take you right on in to downtown Shreveport. Very easy to to maneuver. And really, I mean, you know, especially if you're coming in after all the morning traffic, you know, if you're not having to get there till nine o'clock, then it's going to be a piece of cake, you know, type thing. You know, we get, you know, everybody getting to work around in this area can, can get a little, you know, a few backed up a little bit, but but not nothing like Dallas or, I mean, we're not even close to that kind of uh, traffic or that many people. Definitely a, a nice drive. This little stretch right here, this is East Bossier. You're This is about 13 minutes right here, 13 miles. I mean, you you can really get some some speed on on 20 here you know it, it really this shouldn't make you think that that halton would not be a good match for you you know and as far as a good neighborhood because of the drive to downtown shreveport for your job it still would be a good you know because you can buy a little bit more house over here in the in the country here in the smaller town than even shreveport or bozier for sure because bozier especially in south shreveport are two areas that are hot markets and um, uh, their pricing is, uh, you know, asking for a little bit more than, than um, the other places. Definitely a good um, match for you, good uh, drive for you from Southern Oaks to downtown. All right, so let's just take a look of what's around uh, the area and take the trees out so that we can <laughs> see some things that might be in the area. Now, as far as your, your eating and all, you're going to have to come back up closer to 20 here in the Halton area to find some things uh, because just this little area right in here is pretty much the heart of uh, what's going on here in yeah the pilot travel center is a hub for the trucks to stop and get gassed up and everything and all but cause that's there you know they they've got an arby's here and and you know the good cooking that they have you know in those little stop by places there like that you know it may not be your favorite sit down restaurant fancy but you know it, it really does have some good food and all but on the other side you, you you know you've got waffle house and you've got sonic drive and they've put in i believe it's uh added some more things here recently that that i thought i saw had seen joe delaney memorial park is a nice little park that they've created uh the family has built there in in memory of him he was a football player from halton high school and went on to uh, college and did well and, and was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs way before Patrick Mahomes came around. Anyway, he did really well. And, and so what, he was back in town and was uh, swimming and some kids uh, were drowning in, in, in the area and he tried to save them, which he did. Uh, he lost his life in, in, that, in doing that for them. So uh, he gave his life up so that they could live. And really, you know, it's a, a, a sad story, but then one of heart uh, that just, you know, tugs at your heart because you think, well, you know, that's, that's what good people do. We don't all want, you know, we don't want anybody to lose their life. You know, you just see trouble and, and people in trouble, you go to hell. Joe was one of those kind of people. He's brought great honor to his family, and and they and this is their way of returning that. And so, when my grandkids were were playing on it, you know, I tried to tell them the story, but you know, they they just wouldn't put two and two together. They just wanted to swing and all that, and they were enjoying the fact that the family had uh, memorialized him by building this little park. And 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 it's you know, it's got a nice walking trail and. In, in those kinds of things. So it's a nice uh, aspect of, uh, of Halton. You know, the school here is off this main thoroughfare here. But for the most part, I mean, you're going to have some mom and pop spot. Try to say that four times in a row. Around, there's a spring market here. There's Jaller General. And you've got all those, you know, the Buck 
snow shack and you've got pizza hut down here it's just small town oh mayberry show there with uh andy griffith it has that small community but together you know you have your drama and you have all this stuff that happens everywhere it just depends on the people but when it comes down to it at the end of the day these small louisiana towns are are towns that they just come together and help one another and support one another and that's what community is and that's why people want to live a little bit further out in a smaller town because of that and and they you know maybe had that growing up and and they want that for their life it just depends on what you're looking for and what you need and what conveniences you need close to you if you don't need a whole lot then getting away from everybody might be a good thing you know who knows but you're close to 20 uh, because when we um, zoom in here come 20 and you come across here in 15 minutes you're going to be on the east side of, of Bozier and then that way you do the activities that Bozier City has with the bowling and skating and the trampoline uh, things and all the things that we talked about rock climbing and all all those those kinds of things are available and they're not that far uh, of a drive to them and so and then once you come into to Bossier, you can then easily get down to South Shreveport because if you came this way off of Sligo Road and hit Barksdale then you can come across over here to the southern Shreveport side where uh, everything's building out over in this area and there's lots of places to eat and, and, and all. You're not far away at all and, and it just makes it nice how our communities between Shreveport and then there's Bossier and then there's Benton up here. You have Halton right here. Minden is right here. Halton being Doline being here and then Halton right here in this area. Then, you know, you go down and you've got uh, Keithville and you've got Stonewall. Yeah, there's Stonewall and Keechai and Keithville. Spring Ridge, all these small little towns here are, and there's the Texas line right here. See, so we're right on the edge. Greenwood, Blanchard area right here. We call this really North Street. Shreveport, uh, Mooring Sport here in Oil City and all. So these are, you know, all these small towns, we're all connected by 20 and 49. And those are the two major highways that we have. And then we have some shoot-offs here that naturally we, we've built upon and put commercial things around for us. So definitely in Southern Oaks, you'd be able to get where you need to get to have what you need to have. And that's all that really matters in life, right? So uh, let's put Southern Oaks on your list. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below. So we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport, Bossier City. To your home.